a lot to uh, accept this award, uh, Referee of the Decade. You know, obviously, uh, Knox is a huge association and uh, proud to, to be a part of the association and, and represent it on a local level. But obviously, as I've moved through the, the ranks also on a uh, national level and, and international level, and it's always a, a proud moment to uh, tell people where you're from and, uh, and have Knox as your association. Uh, that you're representing, especially the uh, the size of the association, the amount of referees that are involved um, there. So, um, look, being obviously proud of what I've been able to achieve, and uh, yeah, it obviously means a lot to me to be able to come back to the local association and uh, accept this award. Um, as far as games go, um, yeah, probably two stick out, or two experiences really stick out. Uh, the Under-19 World Championships uh, that I did in, uh, in Prague where I got the gold medal game with uh, USA versus Serbia. So that obviously sticks out um, you know, as a massive achievement and something I was obviously very proud of to, to get to. Um, and then more recently, um, the Eurobasket um, that I've been to um, and uh, got to referee obviously at a senior level at, at an international stand. Um, I don't know if you ever realise that you're going to make it. Um, I suppose it's just one of those things that you know you've got to have some confidence in yourself that you believe you can can get there and, and can get to the the national level. But it's it's really about uh, for me or for what it was about for me is um, you know I suppose deciding on the pathway. Um, yeah, obviously most people and like uh, like myself played to a certain level. Um, you know, realisation that you, you're probably not going to get to a level that you want to, but want to be able to, you know, participate in a sport at the highest level. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was basically just, you know, I suppose setting yourself goals and, and achieving those goals um, along the way and, you know, continue to, to plug away, apply yourself. Um, oh, look, there's lots of people to, to thank right from the, the start. Um, you know, when I've uh, a few of these other, I suppose, awards along the way. Um, I've always mentioned uh, Keith Vaughan is obviously one that I need to have a big thanks to. He was the one who put me through the school when I first started, so uh, got me on the way. But I suppose there's all the supervisors as you go through, um, you know, other peers that you can learn from, watch from, um, take little bits and pieces out. and. Um, yeah, so right from back from when I started, um, yeah, and then you obviously have the supervisor that you go through, uh, like Neil Black, Bev Agenbar, um was there for years, obviously on a, a Saturday, which was one of my main sort of roster times from a local level. Um, probably the, the key big ones, you know, Steve Kavanagh, uh, another one through, you know, I suppose my senior nights when I was there. And then, yeah, as you start progressing through, you have the other sort of mentors and, and other referees you look up to um, at, you know, either above you, uh, alongside you um, that uh, that you can take bits and pieces out so it's not so much always looking at who's ahead of you at the time or who, who you want to be like it's it's having a look at people who are on the same level or even people that are coming up and you know what are elements of their game that you like what are, what are things that you don't like and try them in your game and, and things like that so um, yeah they're probably the key people from a local side of things you know then as you move through national level um, you know Neil Bradbury is obviously a name that comes up quite often um, that uh, was obviously a, a key influence um, in a number of referees lives at, especially at the national level um, yeah all my other referees as well that I've refereed with um, that you're, you're always offered of advice you know when I first started in the NBL uh, the likes of Billy Mildenhall, Ray Hunt those guys who've been around for years um, you know, to, to now, um, you know, I suppose more the senior guys on the, the NBL panel that you, you obviously take advice from, look at how they do things and, and take those sort of things on board. Uh, and I suppose the other, um, finally, just want to uh, thank obviously my wife but also, and family as well. Um, they, you know, they obviously put up with a lot with me being away and, and travelling. Um, and I suppose the support that, uh, that I obviously get with, uh, with that side of things because times doesn't make it easy on the home front, but uh, yeah, both... Uh, my wife Jo and, and the kids have, have uh, been great support over the years in, in terms of accepting that uh, that's what comes along with the, the life of a referee and yeah, thanking the association, thanking everyone who's involved. Um, as I said, very proud to, to represent Knox and, and the size of the association it is no matter where I go. And obviously uh, the, the recognition of you know, receiving this award um, you know, is, is obviously very, uh, yeah, I suppose very emotional sort of thing for me and, uh, and yeah, very proud that I can accept it and um, yeah, I'm pleased to uh, obviously be uh, awarded uh, the, the referee of the decade.